Hey guys, Chad Flynn here from the Electric Academy. I'm just going to get right down to the point. I'm not going to give you a whole rundown on much. What I want to talk about today is quite a serious topic and it's come to me from a few people. So I just thought I would just go over it and I'm not going to be able to give it the full attention it deserves because I'm not an expert at all in this field. But there's two people that, that I reached out to me on this one. So it's basically about drugs in the trades. And I don't, I'm not here to judge, I'm not here to say, you know, what you guys should or shouldn't be doing. But there's two things you need to, we need to talk about is one, going to work when you're on some sort of substance is not cool. And I know there's lots of people that do it. I know a lot of people are thinking, oh, I'll just take a couple tokes or whatever and I'm good. It just calms me down. It's not worth it, guys. I've worked out in the field where I've seen guys who have done stupid, stupid things, had to take the piss test, failed that piss test and watch their life just go down the tubes because of all that. Now it's not worth going to work high, it's not worth going to work drunk. You're gonna get run off, people are gonna find out eventually, and you know what, not even that, worse off, is you can end up hurting not only yourself, but somebody who's completely innocent. So those of you that actually show up on the site drunk or high, please stop. Now here's another one that was sent to me by a coworker of mine, Alex, and I just wanna read you this article, he sent me this um, link, and I'll put it down in the comments. It's, uh, the title of it, it says, Too Many Overdoses Among Men Who Work in Trades, says BC Health Workers. Now, I know I've got a lot of people who watch from the States. BC is British Columbia up here in Canada, which is where I'm from. So this is Canadian, this article. But that being said, I'm sure this is something that is worldwide. And it is an epidemic at the time here. So anyways, let me read some of this to you. Too many men working in the trades are overdosing on opioids say a chief medical health officer in British Columbia who wants the industry to be involved in identifying interventions that could save lives. Dr. Victoria Lee said men between the ages of 19 and 59 are disproportionately affected by a hidden epidemic that's shrouded in secrecy among those too ashamed to get help. She said men who are injured on the job may be ensnared into dependence on illicit substances after being prescribed pain medication. Some people start to self-medicate it can be for physical and emotional reasons as well, Lee said in an interview. There's a huge amount of stigma around using illicit substances, so when you combine that with the fact that it's not socially acceptable for men to be vulnerable, it makes it very difficult for men in those situations to ask for help. Um, Fraser Health, which is our, our medical society here, is planning a workshop next month for employees, employers, and trade representatives to explore interventions that would help men who don't reach out when they're struggling with substance use, substance use issues, she said. And it goes on from there. I'm not going to go into the full thing. But I know as a tradesperson, especially as a man in the trades, it is definitely looked down upon to show any kind of weakness. And I know it seems like a stereotype, but unfortunately it's a stereotype because it's true. So we get hurt out there and oftentimes we won't, I don't know, you guys have probably seen it too, where you, you get hurt and you probably should have gone to the doctor, but you didn't. And then things can get, get a little bit out of control. So I just want to really encourage you guys, if you get hurt, go get help. And if you need to talk to somebody, please go talk to somebody. We need to get out of the whole stigma of these guys can't talk. You know what? That is going away. I see it all the time. It's fine to be emotional. It's fine to talk to each other about things one-on-one. -on -one. It's time, fine to share things. And it's so very important as a trades, trades people, and especially as men in the trades, that we need to start talking to each other. And we have our buddies in the, that we work with on site that we're laughing about and joking with and we're totally sarcastic with. But you know what, sometimes we just need to talk as well. And some of us are not so good at it and some of us are really good at it. If you're having trouble, reach out. And because what can happen is you can get hurt, you can end up on painkillers. When those painkillers run out and the doctor's not gonna give you anymore, it can go on to more things. So you guys need to really get the help you need. And I just really wanna encourage you to reach out and talk to each other. I know I'm no expert. I'm just a tradesperson, just a trades guy out there, just an electrician like you guys. And I've done my fair share of stupid things, but I really want to encourage you guys to get out there and talk about it. If you're getting hurt, please seek help. If you're getting hurt emotionally, seek help and talk to somebody. There are people out there. A lot of companies offer some sort of benefit so that you can go talk to somebody about these things and it's completely confidential. All right. I just really wanted to get that out there because I felt like it was an important one to talk about. So I really wanted to get it out there because it's come up, well, it came up last week. I had somebody talk to me about wanting me to talk about the fact that a lot of guys are showing up to site high or drunk. And um, another, like I said, my coworker Alex sent me that article and thought that I should maybe share it with you guys. And I think it's so very important. So again, don't show up to work high or drunk. Take the day off if you have to. It is not worth it. You're going to hurt yourself. You're going to hurt others. 
And if you are in a situation where you get hurt, please seek help and please talk to somebody. All right? That's all I got to say for today, guys. It's going to be a short one. I'll be back tomorrow. I've got a little uh, presentation. I, I came across an open neutral issue the other day, so I really wanted to talk to you guys about that for tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be about an open neutral. And again, please, if you guys are getting, if you need to talk to anybody, seek help. If you need help finding out where to seek help, just send me a private message. I can help out with that. All right? Work safe, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.